Glory be to the name of the Lord. The Lord is good and his mercy is endured forever. I am Ezekiel Adelika Tayoro. I welcome you to the hour prayer today, restoration prayer hour. I pray the Lord will bless you and complete you in Jesus' name. Uh, don't forget that before I go ahead, it's going to be a special time to let you know that by October, this is going to be live on our social media platform, on Facebook and on YouTube. To the glory of God, you'll be able to connect to this because I know that God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Today, the Lord asked me to pray with you on a topic which I titled, Deliverance with a Divine Mandate. Now, when you hear mandate, it is an assignment that must be carried out. As a matter of fact, the assignment might be bigger than you, but because the one that sent you that assignment has something to do, mandate is an official order or commission to do something. So you need to know. So God has commissioned me to do something. So it is an authority to carry out a policy or to legislate something in the realm of the spirit. The Lord said to me, a lot of people have been sidelined from the place of greatness. Some people are suffering from what they're supposed to have. Some have been chased out from the place of honor. Some are ridicule and no one to help them. But the Lord is saying, He wants to deliver them with a divine mandate. The word divine is something that has to do with the heavenlies. So it's not the thing of this world. So when you combine these two together, deliverance, divine mandate, you need to know that today is a special day. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you order. The Lord will give you right. The Lord will give you favor to make all things work for you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 and 25 says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captives deliver? Take note of this word. Pray. Who is a prey? You need to understand this. And before you can pray this prayer, we are going to pray today. It's like an animal that is hunted and killed by another for food. So there are lots of people that are prey. They are, the, they are like animal in the teeth of their enemies. They have been manipulated. Their life is being sidelined. Nothing good is happening to them. They are living the life of sorrow. They're in the house. They are living in fear. As a matter of fact, good things that are supposed to come to them is being transferred to another person. But hear the word of the Lord. The Lord wants to deliver you today. Verse 25 of Isaiah chapter 49 says, But thus said the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save your children. I want you to pray this prayer very well. You will declare the power of deliverance. My life is available in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands, deliver me, 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 deliver me. Oh yeah, continue. Say, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Aha. Let the power of deliverance deliver you. Aha. Oh yeah, deliver me, deliver me in the name of Jesus. Deliver me. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Power of deliverance that can only come by God. Let that power of deliverance come over your life in the name of Jesus. Receive the power of deliverance. Receive it now. In your office, receive it now. In your business, receive it now. In your home, receive it now. In your territory, receive it now. In every area you find yourself, receive it now. Power of deliverance, receive it now. 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 In the name of Jesus, you are on this medium. You are connected to me. The Lord is asking me or sent me to tell you that in that situation that you suddenly find yourself, 
Your life is not giving you the desire of your heart anymore. As a matter of fact, you are put in more, but you get nothing. You gain nothing. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, out of that problem, you suddenly find yourself. You will receive divine order. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout the loudest, amen. Receive divine order in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your business, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your marriage, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your office, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your family, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in your environment, receive it in the name of Jesus. Divine order in anything you lay your hands on, receive it now, 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 receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 62 verse 11 says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, their power belongeth unto God. Hallelujah. What is the power? Claiming the order of your life. Saying to you that the way you have started your journey in an unpleasant manner, that same way you are going to remain. I want you to rule very well. Who is that person that will shout the loudest amen? Let the power be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Let the power be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Let the power be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Let the power be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Every power from the pit of hell, tormenting the place of your board, be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Destroy, 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 destroy. In the name of Jesus, you have laid hands on so many things, but nothing is working for you. You are very brilliant, but nothing is said about you. Your life that should give you happiness is giving you sadness. Your life that should give you sad mind is giving you regretting. I pray for you today by the order of God in the name of Jesus. If you can shout the loudest, amen. Receive deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Is your realm afflicted? Is your life afflicted? Is your situation becoming terrible? And there is nothing happening to you. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Listen to this testimony. One of my daughters in law testified on Sunday in the church how a sister was sweeping, was sweeping a place in the village. And the sister saw a stone. And something tells the sister, I want to show you something, daughter. Go into the house and fortify yourself with the power of God. By the time she removed the stone, she dig, 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 dig to a very long, long hole. And from there, she saw big pots, cover, and here it is, she removed the cover. She saw a lot of things in that place. And a lot of things inside that pot. Every member of that family, also ever that come to that house, must step in before they get to the house. And that thing is an idol taking away what belongs to them. What is that thing that is taking away what belongs to you in your family? Until when God exposed that thing, there will be no deliverance in that family. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord expose it. Take it out of the way. Expose it. Take it out of the way. In the name of Jesus, you can do the power. Power of God can work in you. Is there anything that is planted in the house you are living? You must step on it before you get to your house, to your room. This is the reason nothing is happening in your life. I pray in the name of Jesus, let God remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I want you to start declaring, speak to God. This is your personal declaration. What do you want God to do for you? Pray that prayer to God and the Lord will answer you. Say it. You may post your device and you go ahead with this. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus. Project something into the world of today. Project something into the Orions of today. Project something into the Pleiades of today. Project something into the life of today. And it's going to wear with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. I want to congratulate you because you have prayed this prayer. I pray the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. In case you want to reach out for prayer, cancel your testimony. The number to call is plus 234-80-370-798-5.
74. I wish you happy birthday if today's your birthday or today's your wedding anniversary. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Join us on Wednesday. So great. Tomorrow is going to be awesome to have you in our church. I'm going to be online and be in church at the Cross Christian Center 25, Benyado Street, Ojodu, Lagos, Nigeria. Through this medium, you'll be able to watch us at 10 a.m. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory.